morning again and welcome. Thanks to everyone gathered here today for this important occasion. My name is Ron Griffith and I serve as the President and CEO of Century Housing Corporation. Along with our colleagues at US Vets, Thomas Safran and Associates, Core Companies, and the VA, we are honored to be here this morning to celebrate the groundbreaking of five new buildings. We can't make this progress without the support of others. Um, our commitment to this project will be well over $300 million by the time all is said and done in the 2030s. I'm proud of being part of an effort to provide housing for veterans in a county that has 3,900 un, uh, unhoused veterans, but 10% of them will be able to live in the uh, buildings we're here to start today. And we should remember that we are independent and we are free because of our veterans. One of the neat things that a member of Congress can do is to get a flag that's flown over the Capitol in Washington, D.C and give it to someone who's been of extraordinary service to our nation. And I'd just like to thank everyone for giving me the opportunity, you know, to uh, stand up on my feet again, because it's very important for a man to be able to house himself and feed himself, and especially a vet, because we're taught to never accept defeat. Thank you very much. Uh, when I was first elected, I remember uh, looking at the West LA VA and reading about it and getting information about it. And it was, as many of you know, rather dysfunctional. It was so dysfunctional, veterans were suing the West LA VA. And I thought, well, that's rather ridiculous. Uh, so I worked with the then uh, VA secretary, worked with Senator Feinstein, and wrote the law that authorized the VA to create a whole new master plan with two missions to improve the delivery of medical services and to provide at least 1,200 units of permanent supportive housing. In 2021, uh, then I worked on the West LA VA Campus Improvement Act to provide funding streams for homeless veterans programs. And last year, worked on the PACT Act, which is going to deliver approximately $360 million to West LA VA for housing. So today represents a bright future. It demonstrates our strong commitment as a state to help California veterans and their families. And one day soon, these buildings will put a solid roof over the heads of hundreds of veterans, men and women who have sacrificed body, mind, and soul to defend this nation and our constitution. These buildings will connect veterans with the services they'll need to regain their footing, and that begins with a feeling of safety, stability, security, and warmth. They will have a place to hang their hats, and we will be able to finally welcome them home. This transformation is meeting the needs of veterans by building a community, a community that will uh, include 1,200 homes, and a community that will also uh, provide a network of support to help veterans stay healthy, secure and active. And so in addition to the one million dollars that Wells Fargo donated to help uh, create the uh, West LA Veterans Collective, I'm proud to announce, thrilled to announce the fact that we're going to be donating another million dollars today. <laughs> and that's going to support this campus's career development center. At the LACDA, we understand it is an enormous responsibility to provide to our veteran community. And therefore, we signed on to be in lockstep with the VA's enormous master plan. The LACDA is confident that the VA master plan will go a long way toward providing not only homes, but a real sense of community with access to life-changing services, support, and guidance. I am proud of the LACDA's involvement and look forward to the day when we return here for the groundbreaking to welcome home our veterans.